What it do, what it do, what it do, YouTube. It's your boy Greenleaf Exclusive back at it with another Houston Rockets exclusive video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That's way that way you know it whenever I drop a new video. Now let's talk about it. Can Armin Thompson potentially take Jalen Green's spot as the starting guard next to Fred Van Vliet in the start lineup? Now we all know the case where, you know, uh Ime Udoka wants to make some 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 change up in the start lineup, right? You know, uh, coming past All Star break, and uh, that's that's the big story about you know what's going on with the Houston Rockets. Ibey Udoka wants to shake the lineup up, the star lineup up, and uh, Jalen Green, man, he like the elephant in the room. You know, uh, all fingers point to him as far as coming off the bench, and uh, does it make sense? It's Armin Thompson that dude to really start in front of Jalen Green. I mean, you got two d dynamic guards in their own way. You know, when you look at Armand Thompson, a guy that, you know, you draft as a point guard and the way he's been playing the last several games, the double-double machine. He's a straight double-double machine, man. And, uh, you know, I just think with Jalen Green's position as that starting guard, you know, um, yes, the shooting been up and down, you know, things like that. Armand Thompson been a double-double machine, right? Uh, but Jalen Green, you know, if you if – you, sub him out and put Armin Thompson in the game, then you'll get another non-shooting guard alongside Fred Van Vliet. So my thing is, like, if Ime Doka or if, when Ime Doka makes this decision, you know, uh, we got to look at the offense is going to change up a whole lot too because, like I said, Armin Thompson, you know, he's not a shooter. Uh, we relying on Fred Van Vliet to become that off-guard shooter, spot-up shooter. You know, yes, Fred Van Vliet can shoot, but I don't look at him as the off guard. I look at Fred Van Vliet as the go-to general. And yes, Armin Thompson been having a good game in the starting lineup, good games, you know, in the starting lineup. His defense is there. You will bring more defense in the starting lineup, which he can and will be doing that. You know, uh, you know, the shooting will take a step back. You give another, you know, a uh, ball handler. You know, you got Fred. Armin Thompson and, uh, you know, Al P to a certain degree as far as making decisions on the court and, and, and you know, having an IQ on the court as, as a passer, go-to guy. But uh, back to Jalen Green, I just think Jalen Green just need to figure it out, man. It's a lot of people thinking that Ime Yudoka is really fed up with Jalen Green and fed up with his ways, the energy starting the games and things like that. So I can understand Ime Yudoka shaking up the lineup. You know, or, or at least, you know, waking these young dudes up as far as like, hey, man, your position ain't solidified. You got to wake up. I need consistency. If you want to be that star player going forward for this team, you have to be that young leader. And it starts by showing up every game. Whether or not you're making shots or not, you still have to be involved, be a presence on the court. And I think at times Jalen Green just get lost in the sauce. I think he does, you know, and, I, and, and you know, with the recent – you know, activities off the court with getting getting into it with guys and DMs and, you know, things like that. It's a distraction for him. And a guy like Armand Thompson don't have to deal with that. That's why LP doesn't have a lot of, uh, you know, focal point on him as far as having some, some, some pressure, so to speak. Jalen Green has all these type of, you know, angles coming at him, pressure, <laughs> all kind of things. And uh, uh, Armin Thompson's coming in hungry. Same with Cam Whitmore. So, back to, you know, Ime Yudoka's decision of actually benching Jalen Green in the start of the games. I don't think it's out of the realm. I think it's a start. I think it's something to tell these dudes, youth is not an excuse like he started the season with, and it's not going to be handed to you. I think uh, Jalen Green does need to, you know, need a wake-up calling. And benching him at the start of the game, well, I think will, will 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 change his mind frame up in a different way. It could be good, it could be bad, depending on his character and depending on who he is as a, as a person. But uh, on the other hand, starting Armin mean, Thompson, like I said, no shooting. You know what I'm saying? You, we want more shooting. We didn't get that past trade deadline, so we we working with in house talent. And Ime and Doka and his, and his guys got to make a decision. It's starting Norman Thompson is the, the key, the answer. 
And you know the fan base they they on Jalen Green helmet. They on this helmet. You know uh, you can call it a seesaw effect with the fan base, but at the same time Jalen Jalen needs to understand he he's not consistent like that. He's not bringing it every night. He had a, he had a seven game span where yes he was averaging thirty seven and five or something like that. You know, we've seen the breakout games. We see the games where he shows he's that dude, you know. And the attitude needs to carry from game in and game out. Period. Game in and game out. It can't be one game. You you, you shooting two for 12, scoring 20, uh, 20 points next game with, 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 with double-digit rebounds. Like, you have to bring that every game, man. Every game. Ain't no excuses. But a guy like Armin Thompson gonna give out that energy. You know, diving on the floor, six steals, the double doubles, the rebounds in a donkers position. He's supposed to be a point guard. Armin Thompson out rebounding out bigs. Jabari Smith Jr. and, and, and uh Alper Shingon. I mean, let's just keep it, let's just keep it real and simple. Armin Thompson does that at times. More than that at times. So you can see what Ime Yudoka is trying to test the water as far as like starting up the, the energy and things like that in the starting lineup because the effort, the energy, it has to start with your key players. And when, when one of your key players, Jalen Green, is not bringing it night in and night to basis, then you got, you got, you're going to have the other guys trying to step up. Al P stepping up. Jabari trying to step up. But they all got to step up together. And if Jalen Green wants to be a part of that and he wants to show like he's that dude for this team, you gotta you gotta bring it every night, man. You gotta bring it every night because guys like Armand Thompson, Cam Whitmore, they not playing no games too. He made your doka drafted those guys. He made your doka seen some dog in them. The hard work, the ethic. You know? It ain't just no off the court things. We just seen a video of Cam Whitmore working out during the All Star break. What are the other guys doing? You know, but uh, I think this is something Ime Yudoka had up his sleeve. Uh, you could say that he's tired of Jalen Green. He's not rocking with Jalen Green or not. You know, whether the case may be, it's all a process. It's a process for this dude to actually to wake up. You got to break him down to be built up. And, you know, Ime Yudoka, he come from that pop of his tree. He knows players. He worked with a lot of handful of stars in the league in San Antonio. In Philadelphia, in Brooklyn, with the Boston Celtics. Now he's dealing with a situation. He's dealing with a young core. And, you know, you got to bring it every night, man. Youth is not an excuse. You have to step up or some things going to get shaken up. Just like that. It's going to shake up the world. <laughs> it's going to shake it up for the Rockets, man. But, uh, uh, but Raphael Stone, you know, his job is to you know, analyze Jalen Green as well, what value you can get from Jalen Green. Not saying we should trade Jalen Green or anything like that because that is a main talking point too. What are we going to do going forward? We're going to give him an extension, max extension as a off his rookie deal along with Alper Shingun. Then you have to make a decision. Are you going to use that as a sign and trade for somebody else? You have the Jalen Browns of the world in, in, in talks about, you know, uh, getting traded from the Boston Celtics, breaking up that core. So all I'm saying is you, you you have a lot of things to think about if you're Raphael Stone and Ime Yudoka as well. Uh, but at the end of the day, we shall see what, what Ime Yudoka really makes his makes his decision on. What he going to put his foot down on? Is Jalen Green going to the bench? Is Armand Thompson starting? Or it could be somebody else? You guys let me know in the chat how y'all feel about this video. Like, share, subscribe. It's your boy Green Leaf Exclusive. I'm out here, fam. Peace. Peace.